So show, show us right, how to do this. Let's get right into it. Because this is so, a lot of fun. Uh, so some of it is no, so we're using these iron on patches. Oh, by the way, the pattern for the octopus, if you want to make your kid an octopus, or yourself, by the way, um, is on our website. This was enlarged 400% for Daniel. For Daniel. And for, for me. Four -year -old, uh, about 425. Oh, okay. That's yeah. all? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I have. I'm more than twice as big. Well, oddly enough, when I was making the pattern, the head size really doesn't get increased that much. Oh, okay. And then you can lengthen the legs more oh, okay. if you like to. Okay. Um, so these iron-on patches were great for doing little yeah. decals. You can yeah, cut so them into any shape. So these are just Bondex Mend and Repair Twill Patches. Those They're just are for a few the... dollars. Okay, these are for eyes. the eyes. And so um, with the pressing cloth, this is pretty much in place. I kind of like the eyes looking up. Yeah, a little weird, right? And um, yeah, just set that on. Um, so how long does it take to uh, with a hot iron? About 30 seconds. Okay. Um, you know, when I'm making patterns, I usually, I just walk around our prop library. The, and look in the kitchen cupboard. It's so great, you know, whatever you have. And so this is a, a casserole lid. And I use Hello, a, octopus. a disappearing ink Hello, pen octopus. to trace. Are you going to wave your arms at me, octopus? <laughs> no. And then, <laughs> and so this ink will, with um, oh, that's with so just a little cute. spritz of water. Look, it looks like it's this, part of the fabric. Right. It just, and it, wow. it, it won't go anywhere. So it just makes it a lot easier than having to glue and with, or go out and buy a length of felt. So then you put the two heads wrong side together. Right. So and let me put so. this down here. Okay. This, this is an extra. So what we did here is so exactly that. Two right okay. side together and turn it inside out. Okay. Now, obviously, this is too giant for our head, so yeah. I had to make a liner for it, and that's what this pattern is. Oh, I see. See, exactly. So, um, so this fits. Oh, I see. You know, so that fits and inside this. Is the same this. Size as, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. So what we would do turn is, this inside out again. Actually, no. We'll just leave that like that. We'll kind of fold this down here, and then this gets oh, tucked I, in. Oh, I see. Okay. To that. And then, so just around. And just around the face. Oh, okay. This seam here. So then, okay. when we turn it out, we have this piece here with the, the inner hood already in oh, okay. it. And so <laughs> I wanted to do a stabilizing stitch to keep the hood kind of facing in. Yeah. So I, I use this great scalp stitch that came oh, with I the like machine. Yeah. It's really nice. It kind of like have like looks like waves. Okay, so this gets turned back out right side out. Right. And that's, what, that's what you're left with. It. Yeah. Oh, I see. And so that is really is good. Yeah, you can just do this. OK. Right. And so move on. So this is the body. And can I wear this? It, sure. Well, we're going to work on it in a second. But this is the body here. And it's three panels. Um, two front, one back. We did the side seams, um, half inch. So again, it's inside out right inside now. Inside out, we have this great polka dot fabric at the quilting shop around the corner. And then what you will do. So that looks like the suckers on the arms. Right. You want to sew a quarter inch all the way around the edge. What are those suckers called? Suckers. Sucker cups? <laughs> Sucker cups. Yeah, I'm not sure. So here are, oh, look. Go ahead and start filling oh, okay. the, the, and it's great to use a chopstick to really get into the, the points Ooh, with that. look. And then Here, I'm, I'm going to show how to stuff. Um, you want to just you want to stuff the back of the head, um, and then work around both sides of the inner hood. So you're not you're not this you're leaving empty, of course. And okay. then uh, you can oh, just, this works so well. Yeah, it's just I mean I like it's, it's, it's kind of like having like a plushy toy yeah. as a costume, yeah. and that's kind of you know. And this will this will last from year to year yeah, too. Yeah, I mean these smaller are children these can are heirloom costumes it, that right. you're making. You I know, like these. Yeah, a well-made costume is really fun to have, and I I love looking at back at my old costumes. So okay, so now this bias is tape. Bias tape. And I base stitched it. Okay, in. so everything is stuffed all. Oh, these are beautiful. This looks big. This one's for you. Oh, this yeah. is for. Oh, I have my and, own octopus. And costume. so I already started stitching this down the okay. bias tape. But I, I, I did a basing stitch with a bright pink so you can see it when you take it out. Now, my costume here, as you can see, is black. That's because. What are I you made, making? I made a giant spider. It's the same pattern, oh. but I figured I took a little artistic license with it. It's not exactly anatomically correct to it as a spider, but it is, um, yeah, also. And added. I go all the way down to the end? Right. Okay. Done. Take Mine's out the pins. Done, but I can take this out because the base stitch really holds it well. Oh, I love this. This looks very, I have to get all the pins out. Yeah, and those are just to keep it away. Mm. Oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, and it's comfy. So that's I think I'll swim over and, and try to 
try to make friends. Yeah, go for it. Maybe he'll say hello to me time. now that I'm an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Will you say hello to me, octopus? No, he will not.